narco highway, narco, narco freeway, narco highway, narco street, nar, narco, narco highway. What are narco highways? Huh? Tell operatives in place since Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was convicted met more than a dozen times in Chicago, Philadelphia, and New York. Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Wrong Strong. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you already know. Suance la Suburban. Let's take a ride. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Cartel Life, Chicago edition. <laughs> Big investigation that they had in Chicago and where uh, they were conducting it and like the hotels that they were going to and I was like, holy shit. That used to be like all the hotels that I used to like do business at, do my dirt at, do, just do, do a lot of shady shit, you know, and it made me a little emotional to think that they're still using the Vaya con Dios. 22. 22 Sinaloa cartel members had a meeting in Chicago at the Cicero Hotel. I had a lot of meetings there. A lot of meetings. A lot of meetings, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it is right off the I-55 and Cicero Street. So it is great to like get in and out. Like if you wanna like just jump off the freeway real quick turn left boom you're there i think they redid the whole thing uh from uh back in my days back in my days it was like dirty raunchy ass just dirty hotel it was right across the street from some projects not a good area not a good area at all but, but i mean when i say like cartel highways cartel uh, areas and don't get me wrong they they have a heavy presence in really nice areas too it's not just the bad areas, it's just in the bad areas, it's a lot easier to leave a car that is not like, you know, high-end car with a secret stash in there. And for people that don't know what a uh, secret stash is, is a built-in compartment that uh, we, you know, people that are in that business built inside their vehicles to be able to hide either, you know, a gun in front or uh, drugs or money in the back. and they go per size and that's you know that's how you get it depending on what what you're what you're doing where you could actually bump in you you're stealing the car and you actually run into that it's happened to me a couple of times when i was a kid you know I, I was stealing the car and it had uh you know secret stashes in there and you know obviously it was it was a come up the dea was watching they already had this investigation going so they were watching everything they were watching the hotel they were watching the cameras they were watching 22 22 22 dudes that look like this like this like that like this walk into a hotel room in chicago <laughs> the dea had been following the the trap car, you know, the seems like the trap car was like the main part of the mess, investigation. But the DEA had been following the trap car with this, with the name, code name, Dog Food. Alan Deadly Fentanyl was known as Dog Food along this cartel supply line from Mexico to Chicago to New York. Tonight, authorities in the Bronx say they've indicted 22 people and intercepted more than 50 pounds of fentanyl that was hidden in secret compartments of a. It came all the way from Los Mochis, Los Mochis. You see how fucking white I sound there? Los Mochis, cabrón. That's how it said. Los Mochis con huevos. Los Mochis, Sinaloa. To California, to check. The DEA seized the trap car and found a secret stash with 50, 50 
kilos fentanyl. Can't even say the names of these new drugs nowadays, man. It's crazy, all this crazy ass shit. What happened to good old weed, coke, alcohol? Got all this crazy shit nowadays. They found 50 kilos of fentanyl. And you know, as you guys, if you guys follow the news and everything that's going on, fentanyl has been being used to cut you know, uh, uh, heroin, coke. I guess it's like really strong, really bad. So a lot of people are, are dying. Like I said, back in my days, I didn't I didn't deal with this shit. You know, my 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 cut that I used was good old baby milk and some thinner to make it you know grab on after I would re rock the whole thing. You know, spray it down, compact it. You know, throw it in the microwave to uh, dry up. But I wasn't using none of this crazy ass shit. You know, it was it was baby milk, baby powder milk. So it's like. Uh, all this crazy shit nowadays is, is crazy, but I guess it's, it's killing a lot of people. And that's the reason why the government, I guess, had the uh, their eye on this. The main suspect in the whole investigation is a guy named Gonzalez Franco. He's to, he is to be the head of the investigation. They say that he went across the whole U.S. on cartel missions. Over the whole U.S. So... Why the fuck didn't you stop him? <laughs> they were saying that he was only permitted to travel 75 miles from the border because that's, you know, that's what his passport and that motherfucker was in Cicero at that hotel. 2,000, I look at the, the miles, 2,885 miles. Yeah, 75. <laughs> You know, you know that that kind that line of work that job that that commitment that that lifestyle is I, I understand it's very very um intoxicated it's very like you 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 see it and you want it you see the cars you see the jewelry you see the women and you you I mean you see all these things I mean I mean look at it all the main big cartel members in Mexico have all all dated and had kids with beauty queens beautiful beautiful women it's, it's not what, what you guys think it is. It's not. You, you will live in a life of stress, paranoia. All these things come with that ticket when you buy that golden ticket because a lot of people look at it as like the golden ticket. Like, boom, I'm gonna make, you know, 70, 50 Gs every other day, every day. And that's just how it's gonna be. And But everything that comes with it, you know, it, it, it wasn't worth it. And you know, tell you guys that because it's the other side of the coin. Coin, it, it wasn't worth it. All the stress, all the arrests, all the fights, all the shootings, all the attempts on my life, all the all the stupid shit that I was doing. It wasn't. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. You you can pay me uh, one billion dollars to go back to that right now. You couldn't. I'm good. I'm good. And and one thing one thing for sure is that the government's always gonna win. You know, this, these investigations, they're a dime dozen. I, I looked at them and there are hundreds and hundreds. And this is, this is a new one. This is a new one. It's never gonna stop. It's never gonna stop. It's always gonna be there. But let them do their thing. Let the government arrest who's ever doing it. Let them sell drugs if that's what they wanna do. You know, you, you get a lot further in life by actually practicing and doing, like planning out your career. You know, and, and actually knowing what you want to do because if you actually sit down and actually do what you need to do, uh, man, sky's the limit. My name's JC. I am Wrong Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, we only have one life to live. Live it out here, free, not gang banging, not using drugs, not selling drugs. Just living life and enjoying it, man. That's it. I'll catch you guys in the rebound.